A ver, ¿cómo te lo digo? Eh, si tú no piensas en hacer cosas grandes, nadie pensará en ti para hacerlas. You know how to speak Spanish? I do not. <laughs> check, check, check. Okay, so this is... Andres! This is for me. Hola, ¿qué tal chicos? Soy Yuri Sabat, bienvenidos todos a mi canal. Ya sabéis que estamos hablando de esta filosofía de vivir tu mejor vida. Hoy voy a entrevistar a alguien que ha vivido su mejor vida. Es Sir Richard Branson. Voy a presentaros mi casa. Venid. Poder estar con él es algo espectacular. Le dan una estrella en el Paseo de la Fama por su faceta como emprendedor en el terreno de la música y del entertainment. Y luego hace una pequeña fiesta en la que estaremos nosotros. Nervo está pinchando ahí y yo podré estar haciéndole una entrevista a alguien que para la mayoría de los mortales es inalcanzable, así que... Estoy muy emocionado, estoy muy agradecido y tengo muchas ganas de que veáis este vídeo. Así que, ¡empieza ahora! El tío fundó una revista con 16 años que se llamaba Student. Empezó con una tienda de discos en Oxford Street. Y creó una compañía discográfica que se llama Virgin. Una de las personalidades más importantes del mundo. Su patrimonio es de unos 5.000 millones de euros. Y no sé qué más puedo decir. Let's go. ¿Dónde? A entrevistar a Richard Branson. ¡Sí! ¡Vámonos! ¡Vamos con Dios! Estamos yendo hacia, hacia el sitio donde vamos a hacer la entrevista a Richard Branson y ella va a pinchar. ¡Sí! Solo uh, 20, 20, 20. 20. Solo 20 minutos. 20 minutitos solo. Sí, men, minutitos. ¿Estás okay. nervioso? No, estoy excited. Uh. Estoy como muy excitado porque es un, una persona a la que admiro mucho. Sí. Oh. Está a punto de empezar la fiesta y aquí ella. And very soon, guess who's coming? Yes. Richard. Sir Richard. Sir Richard Branson. Sir Richard. ¿Dónde está tu hermana? Ah, uh, she's in el coche. Ah. She's coming. Hopefully. Okay. okay. Ahora viene su hermana. Ahora viene su hermana. Aquí se están preparando ellas, todo está ya listo, la comida, la gente... Bueno, esta es la zona del fotocall, la gente se da las fotos aquí. Esta es la historia de Virgin, Sex Pistols, sí. The Rolling Stones... Congratulations. Sir Richard Branson, nice to meet you, Richard. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you. Es un placer estar con una de las personas más importantes, un icono de, de, del siglo XX y del siglo XXI, que hoy le han dado su estrella en el Paseo de la Fama. ¿Cómo te sientes sobre uh, tener tu your, your star en el Walk of Fame aquí? Es un fun honor, es un delightful honor. Particularly pleased he was outside the Guinness World uh, Record Museum building because I've spent my lifetime trying to break a few records yeah. and um, uh, but um, and it was lovely to lovely to yeah share it with a lot of virgin people. So yeah. it's nice. I'm changing my life now. I'm and I'm excited, but I also have fear. Are you are you planning to become an entrepreneur? Maybe. Um, I think I, I, as you know, my slogan in life is screw it, just do it and. Um, um, Uh, give it your give it your best shot, and uh, I'm sure it'll work out. And if it doesn't, um, Spain is always there for you. Spain is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What would you prefer, waking up tomorrow in Mars or having 30 years old? Um, I would definitely like to be 30 years old. <laughs> um, sure. They, um, no, I love I love this beautiful Earth we live on. Um, yeah. I think we need to. Uh, space is important, but space is there to protect the Earth. Um, mm. And um, sadly, I don't think Mars can offer a lot for Earth. Um, the moon may be able to, but um, 
Uh, so definitely, if you could, if you'll swap, if you'll swap it, uh, you can have everything I've got, my islands, uh, my companies. Yeah. Um, we'll, I'd be very happy to swap, swap for your age. Oh, <laughs> go on, go on, go on. I wouldn't want to change anything. I mean, I've, I've, I've been very lucky. I've had an extraordinarily full, fascinating, interesting life. Mm -hmm. And um, but, um, but I think that you know, people just need to throw themselves wholeheartedly into whatever they're doing in life. Um, uh, and I think if you if you give it, give it whatever you're doing everything, um, uh, you'll get you'll be very satisfied with life. Mm -hmm. And uh, life is also all about people, um, how you treat people, how, how you how you motivate people. And if you surround yourself with great people, you can achieve pretty well anything. Mm -hmm. You've surrounded to your your life with an amazing people, extraordinary people. Could you say uh, the most extraordinary people you've met? in music industry, for example? Peter Gabriel uh, is somebody that I have enormous respect for, mm -hmm. both, both as a musician, mm -hmm. um, but also, you know, we've worked together on uh, trying to get, um, you know, antiretroviral drugs to mm -hmm. Africa or on setting up the elders together to try to um, deal with conflict issues in the world. And, mm -hmm. um, and so I think as a musician, he's got a wonderful balance between being a great musician and also being somebody that is really trying to make a difference in the world. Uh, a business is simply coming up with an idea to make people's lives better and if you have such an idea um, you should give it a go. Um, and a lot of people have great ideas but they just don't have the courage to try it. Um, so um, yeah, so the, so, so the main thing is um, if you're going to succeed you just have to, you have to try it. And when you have the, a great idea you, you listen to your gut, your heart, your brain or your accountant? I think you definitely don't listen to your accountant. Um, you listen to your instinct based on experience. Um, there's no point in doing it unless it's, you know, unless it's going to radically improve other people's lives. If, it, if, it's, if, you, if you feel that it's worth your life spending time um, uh, creating whatever your idea is, then, then do it. And as an entrepreneur and as a sportsman, you're, you're always um, find, finding new challenge. How you how you live that uh, in Necker, for example? You work, you train. How how's your yeah, I mean, day like, today? I, I get up early, six o'clock. I play a, a hard game of singles tennis. Yeah. I then normally go kite surfing if the wind is up. Wow. Um, and then I have breakfast, and, and, and then I'm ready for ready to get some work done. And then in the evening, uh, most likely I'll go, you know, maybe biking or um, kiting again or playing tennis again. And and um, so I mix yeah mix um, full on on sports. If your body is screaming and fit, you can do pretty well anything. You are such an inspiring person for me, for all the Spanish audience. Um, we congratulate you for this, for this stuff. Thank you very much for, you. for having us. And let's go party it now. Great, let's party. It's a good idea. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, we'll just keep your eyes open. You'll, find, you'll, 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 you'll see lots of great opportunities. Yeah. Of course. Estamos esperando a que la fiesta empiece, todo el mundo está preparado, el champán corre a raudales, no sé qué más puede pasar, pero parece que todo está perfecto para que suceda. Nos van a presentar una sorpresa, una sorpresa que nadie sabe, nadie conoce y que vamos a ver de qué se trata.
Turn it 